Hello everyone, this is Maureen and welcome to My Crochet Story. Today is Tuesday, October the 29th and we are here for another day of learning how to be still and know that he is our God. Now this little red book put out by Broad Street Publishers has been my devotional that I have shared with you throughout the year of 2024. Now, if you wish to go and purchase your own copy, I've left a link for you down in the description box so that you don't have to go hunting for it. It's right there. Just give it a click and you can go and look it over. Today's title is What God Wants. And our Bible verse that will go along with our discussion comes from Michael, Micah, excuse me, 6 verse 8. The Lord has told you what is good. He has told you what he wants from you to do what is right to other people. <clears throat> love being kind to others and lo live humbly obeying your God. Have you ever wondered how you can ever make up for your failings? Should you try harder? Give more. Do more things for God. Maybe they have a vague sense that, excuse me, maybe you have a vague sense that you just don't measure up when it comes to being an effective servant of Christ. In Micah's day, Israel wondered what would satisfy the justice of God. Sacrifice another animal, or maybe a thousand, or even their own children to compensate for their sins. God did not need their sacrifices or religious exercises. He simply wanted Israel to live in humble obedience to him and to do what was right. And that's the message for you today. Don't make your Christian life too complicated. Don't worry about doing more. Walk simply and humbly before your God. Obey him. Be kind to others and do what is right. Thank you, Lord, for giving me clear directives in your word. Even though they are simple, they are not easy. Therefore, I need your help today to live humbly before you and to do what is right. I love looking at several different interpretations of what a particular verse might mean. And I found one that kind of hit home to me this morning. In fact, the things that I wanted to share with you. And it's these three things that were listed right in the verse itself. Love being kind to others. Live humbly and do what is right to one another. Man, that's hard. It really is. If you stop and think about it, it really is hard. So let's look at the first one, or the last one, really. To do right for one another, to one another. Well, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. There are so many ways I could go with that, and I'm sure you could too. But let's keep it really, really simple. Doing right for each other is standing up for one another. Being bold in our witness. Not being afraid to stand up for what is right. To share our strength with one another. That's what doing right is in the eyes of God. To do right means to let others know exactly where you stand. Don't be wishy-washy. If you're a child of God, speak boldly about it. Don't be ashamed. Don't hide your conversations. Let it out there. That's being right. Let's look at being humble, living a humble life. Now, what if you are someone in a position to give, I mean, give enough money to make sure that that 
park is made safe for children to enjoy outside playtime? Would you want to be uh, acknowledged for what you did? Or would it simply satisfy you enough to make an anonymous donation? When we do something right for God, we shouldn't want the recognition for it. Now, that's hard not to want, isn't it? I mean, we want to have that pat on the back. But if we're doing it for the right reason, which is to extend what it is that we have, so that others can have as well, shouldn't it be done as a gift and not as a look at me? It's really hard to do that, isn't it? I mean, we're all human. We want to have that pat on the back. We, we want to be recognized, and there's nothing wrong with that. To show kindness. To one another. Now that one, I think, is really the hardest one to do. And let me tell you why. The media, our newspapers, social media, I mean, the bad out there is thrown in our face every single day. And it's very easy for us to get hard towards human nature. It really is. Um, we don't want to go out because we don't want to see the crime. We don't want to get involved with, say, community watches because we're afraid of getting hurt or being retaliated against. We just don't want to get involved. Sometimes even just walking down the street looking people in the eye as they're passing us, and smiling, not even saying a word, just to smile at them, to let them know they're recognized. Nope, don't even want to do that. We just keep our head down on the ground, and we just walk to get where we want to go. That's not what God calls us to do. We need to be kind to one another. We need to show love, even if it is just a simple smile. That's what God's called us to do, to be like him, to want to show love to one another, to show that there is hope. We need to be kind to one another. We need to help those that are less fortunate with, than us, but not to the point where we're boastful about what we've done. That then becomes all about us and not about the work of God. As I said, it is really hard to do what is right. It is really hard to be kind to one another. And it's really, really hard to do those humbly. We're just a prideful person. We all are. We want the recognition. We want to be praised for what we've done. And that, to me, defeats the purpose, really. If we are showing love and kindness in a humble way, we are doing the work of God the way he wants us to. There's nothing wrong with being recognized for the good that you do. But if you're doing it to be recognized, then thank you for what you've done but it just kind of puts a bitter taste in everyone's mouth when they see it for your gain and not for the gain of others. So I want you really to think about how hard it is in your life, just like I've been thinking about here right now talking to you, how hard it is in our lives to do what is right in the name of God. To show loving kindness for one another in the name of God. And to do so as if God was standing right there in front of us. Humble. Bow down. 
being a servant rather than one who wishes to be recognized. Man, that's hard, isn't it? It really is. But let's make a pact, you and me both, to think about Micah's words today. All God wants is for us to be kind to one another, to love one another, and to walk through this world humble in the sight of God. Thank you all so much for being here, not only today, but every day, because you choose to take the time to be still and listen to your Father's voice. If this was your first time here, let me say welcome in to you. I do hope that you made it this far, because the only thing I ask of each and every one of you, besides being sure to leave that little thumbprint, please think of someone that needs to hear these words today, not because they're my words, but maybe because they need that little reminder of why they chose to be a child of God and for them to take a look at what are they doing with that new life that they've been given. I love you guys so much, but let me remind you this. Be the light out there in the darkness for someone today because you never know. Could be your light that they need to see. Till tomorrow, I love you guys. Bye.